Hi, welcome again to yet another lecture. And this lecture is going to be talking about what is evaluation. So as you saw in the previous lecture, we were talking about impact and what it means. But now we're going to be going deeper into what evaluation means. Because as you have seen, there are two terms in impact evaluation. You've got the impact part, you've got the evaluation part. So when you understand these two combined, then you understand what really impact evaluation is. I'm your host, Coach Alexander, and let's get started. Okay, so what is evaluation? Straight to the point. Evaluation is a process that critically examines a program. It involves collecting and analyzing information about program activities. So you see, the thing is that what we are doing when we do an evaluation, we are simply doing an in-depth assessment. We want to establish what the program has achieved. Has it been effective? Has it been cost effective? Has it been efficient? And all these things are done in order at the end of the day to make informed decisions. Because at the end of the day, you have a lot of people, a lot of stakeholders investing huge amounts of money into a program. And they want to be able to know whether they indeed had achieved the intended results. So the only way you can do this is by conducting an evaluation. So what is its importance? The importance is that when you do an evaluation, you want to improve program design and implementation, okay? So usually, the, because the evaluation is done at the end of the program cycle, or when it has ended, when the project has ended, that's when it's done. So in essence, what you are doing is that you want to improve the design in the next implementation. Of course, this evaluation can be done midway the, the project, but usually it is done just at the end of the project or program. So it says here, it is important to periodically assess and adapt your activities to ensure they are effective, as effective as they can be. Evaluation can help you identify areas for improvement. So just as I explained, it's really a learning curve when you do this kind of assessment. Okay, but there is another reason. You see there, it says demonstrate program impact. So you see, we've already understood what impact means just here. But you see, when you do this evaluation, it actually quantifies the impact. It tells you in concrete terms whether you have really achieved your intended results. So now there's one thing I've noticed in my years, in my 10 years of practicing MID. When you have consultants do these evaluations, sometimes the evaluations don't really tell you in conclusion whether a program has achieved its intended results or not. But in essence, it is supposed to. Every evaluation report, when you read an evaluation report, it's supposed to tell you in concrete terms whether impact was achieved or not, and it needs to quantify that. If you are not able to, after reading a report, draw a conclusion, then it means the evaluation wasn't properly conducted or written. So there are types of evaluations that I want you to know about, dear friend. So it evaluations fall into one or two broad categories. You've got the formative and the summative. So now I'm going to read this out so that at least I don't have to make errors in my speech. It says here, formative, formative evaluations are conducted during program development and implementation and are useful if you want direction on how to best achieve your goals or improve your program. Summative evaluations should be completed once your programs are well established and will tell you to what extent the program is achieved. So just as I explained, you see an evaluation can be conducted midway program implementation, and this is what they're calling formative. So when you have 
a midterm evaluation, for example, that is what is called as a formative evaluation. But if you have an evaluation conducted at the end of the project, then you've got what is called summative evaluation. But I must mention that most of the evaluations that I have seen are con conducted at the end of the program implementation period. So within the categories of formative and summative, there are different types of evaluations again, okay? Within those two. So now, when you have a formative evaluation, you've got the needs assessment, okay? I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this needs assessment. Uh, what it does really, it determines the needs of the program, okay? You know, sometimes, oftentimes what people like to do is they'll have, you know, they'll just say that we need this, we need that. But in essence, there is no evidence to show that this program really needs what you're saying. So when you do a needs assessment, it actually tells you exactly what is lacking. So for instance, if a project is not being implemented to the best of the ability that it should, a needs assessment can bring out findings that, okay, it could be that there are resources lacking in this particular area, or it could be that the capacity of staff is not to the level that it should be. So the needs assessment will bring out all that information. But when you talk of a process or implementation evaluation, it really does the, like I earlier mentioned, there's the midterm evaluation, which I explained. But then this one also is looking at the processes of implementing the program and determines whether the program is operating as planned. So it really looks at the processes. At this point, you can't look at the results because the, the program is just, in the process of being implemented. So you just look at things like how are resources being utilized? Is there high levels of compliance? Are staff highly motivated? Things like that. And then that information will be able to help management make good informed decisions. So now the summative evaluation, as I mentioned earlier on, this is at the end of the program. So this one, the outcome evaluation investigates to what extent the, uh, the program is achieving its outcomes. These outcomes are short term and medium term. So like I mentioned earlier on, the outcome evaluation focuses on uh, whether results have been achieved. And these results are usually between the short term results and medium term. But the difference between the outcome evaluation and impact evaluation is that when you are assessing impact, the impact evaluation is usually long term. And that is where I said, you know, it could take even up to 10 years to see a result. Okay, so I hope you are getting the maximum benefit so far. Okay, so this is just summing up everything that has been mentioned. You've got the formative, you've got the summative. And usually the formative part, you've got the, the earliest evaluation that can be done is the needs assessment. Then you've got the process implementation evaluation. Then you've got the outcome evaluation and impact evaluation. And then the questions that are asked are clearly outlined here. I would want to also urge you that even after this uh, presentation I've done, please take time to read through, to you know, these videos, will, you have unlimited access to these videos. So I would urge you to continue replaying these videos so that you get the maximum benefit. So now what are the attributes of a good evaluation? Remember earlier on, I mentioned that some evaluations can be of poor quality, whereby you read an evaluation report, but you can't really tell whether you've achieved the intended results or not, you can't. So what are the attributes of a good evaluation? A good evaluation is tailored to your program and builds on existing evaluation methods and resources. So now, 
what this is telling us is that it is it's not going to help if someone comes and does an evaluation but it's not speaking to the vision and mission of the organization it's not speaking to the objectives of the project or program there is no good because if someone is evaluating he needs to do it in line with what the project wants to achieve people and stakeholders are like are very interested to know what is it the project has really achieved over this period of time another thing is that a good evaluation is inclusive there is always this problem whereby you sometimes we feel tempted to draw our own conclusions but we don't let conclusions be drawn by the stakeholders so the of course the a consultant will come in and he has to take his, make his independent view but really the evaluation should involve all stakeholders at the earliest stage of the process that way it will be rich in content a good evaluation is honest. I've seen in many cases, honesty can be a problem. And the reason is simple, because if you hire, if an organization hires a consultant and that consultant comes out with an objective, independent viewpoint that is in contrast with what the organization wants to hear. In such a case, you find that he'll be he'll he'll be tempted really to bend to the rules of his employers you see that's the thing so if if that's the case honesty becomes compromise but a good evaluation needs to bring out the evidence honestly even if then the information is not good is not positive Good evaluations are replicable and its methods are rigorous as circumstances allow. And these are this rigorous, the level of rigorousness in any evaluation is purely dependent on the resources available. Do we have enough time? Do we have enough money? Do we have the right personnel? All those things determine how rigorous an evaluation will be. Okay, so now, I'm sure you've understood evaluation, you've understood what impact is. So what is impact evaluation? Okay, so I'm sure we get, we, we now have a broader understanding really. Impact evaluation is all about undertaking an assessment of whether change has been achieved. So the next lectures are going to now dive in really deep so that we now have that content, that rich content that will help us conduct these evaluations even if we were contracted as a consultant consultant someone so i hope you've enjoyed this lecture and we're going to end it here for now but stay tuned to the next lecture see you on the uh, see you on the other side bye